Hello Aquarius, welcome to your reading for September. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Please make sure you check all your placements to get a clear picture of what's going on for you at this time. As always, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate for all of you. Please take the bits that do resonate and leave the rest behind for somebody else. I'm primarily a love reader. That's what I'm going to focus on. If anything else pops up, I will address it, of course. And if this reading does indeed resonate with you, then any interaction with it, whether it's a like or a comment or a subscribe, will not only help my channel grow, it's going to add your energy to the collective pool <clears throat> and just make it easier for me to read for everyone just a little bit better. I'm going to freestyle your tarot spread, starting off with some oracle cards. Towards the end of the reading, <clears throat> I will be pulling some initials and sun signs for you, so make sure you stick around for that. We have Sunstone. Um, Libra had the same card. Take pleasure in the things you do. Again, Venus is retrograding in Leo. It can be difficult for us to tap into playfulness, into creativity, into romance, right? Into pleasure. But it's going to be out of retrograde by the 5th with a little bit of a shadow period post that. We should be good to go. And then we have Labradorite. See the magic. Who got this? I think it was cancer, if I'm not wrong. So if you have heavy cancer placements, I would go watch that reading. Now, <clears throat> there is something here about self-love. There is something here about focusing on the relationship you have with yourself and seeing the magic and the power that flows through you once you do that. Aquarians are the humanitarians of the zodiac. It's very easy for you to start looking at the people around you connected to you almost like a spider's web right you being in the center of that web it's almost like it, it's difficult for you to detach yourself from a collective and go about your merry way no matter how much you want to do that there's always a paradox that comes with Aquarians because you're hyper independent but at the same time you love being part of a community right there has to be something about standing out right not to not to prove anything to anybody else but so that you can truly bathe in your own authenticity what are you doing to stand out from that collective what are you doing to please yourself what are you doing to make your inner child happy to make your higher self happy are you taking pleasure in the things that you are doing without caring about what other people think because once you start activating that fifth house right or you start activating your solar plexus chakra with sunstone you radiate a kind of power that makes manifestation easier, right? Let's see. <clears throat> see the magic. Four of Swords, healing, quiet, solitude. The Page of Wands, adventure. I feel like some of you just need to go on a solo vacation going to help you loads the king of cups a high eq balance emotional stability calm the ace of cups beautiful energy a new start in love an offer of empathy compassion nourishment the star there you are aquarius energy the sun beautiful more leo energy <clears throat> this is a good reading and the minute I said that I swear the ten of wands always shows up for you why because you always do too much right you're carrying enough on your back either these are your responsibilities or other people's that you're readily making your own and you're still intent on doing more she's still picking more flowers <clears throat> the Ten of Wands will always, always show up for an Aquarian. I know this for a fact. And the Lovers. This is a stunning reading. The readings before you haven't been all that great. I've just been giving lectures. The Nine of Swords, the Six of Wands, the Magician, the Two of Cups and the Eight of Pentacles. Your love life is in your hands. Normally, I say the universe is orchestrating something, right? There's something happening backstage. Not this time. That source, that power, that manifestation, that, that power to create is all within you. 
you see with the four of swords and the ace of cups this can very easily be translated into taking pleasure in the things you do right pouring into yourself giving yourself that love and that nourishment that we're constantly striving to receive from someone outside of ourselves right flipping that narrative and giving it to you with the page of wands and the star i feel like some of you may be we're constantly healing as people right we're constantly healing we're not made of stone certain triggers and traumas surface at certain times and we are forced to heal them i feel like you're looking for different avenues for healing creative avenues for healing and i almost feel like healing is becoming fun does that make sense and it can be i'll give you a small example you know those adult coloring books those mandalas and those those jungle books it's fun right coloring in them is fun and what are you doing in the process you're healing yourself you're boosting serotonin levels you're boosting joy you're boosting calm i feel like some of you are looking for creative ways to be happy and i love that for you we have the king of cups and the sun with the lovers this is beautiful energy this could be that person outside of yourself coming in to well add to your life someone with a very high emotional eq someone who may not be very expressive but someone who can change the theme of your life previously i feel like some of you may have been taking on too much where you had to like i said constantly heal right this is somebody who can bring in permanent joy bring in permanent happiness and almost prompt you to start living a little differently start being a little more free it's almost like a heart chakra that bursts open where it's been closed for so long this is bothering me the 9 of swords the 6 of wands the magician the 8 of pentacles the 9 of cups and the 2 of cups some of you may have closed yourselves off to love either because of a betrayal in the past or a heartbreak in the past or just expectations that were not met but that nine of swords energy of anxiety needs to be removed it's always fear versus faith and i will always maintain that if you are operating from a place of fear <clears throat> you will not see the magic you're just going to see that fear manifest into your life right but we had the nine of cups we had the two of cups we have the sun on the table the universe wants to bring this joy to you but how are you using your power to invite it into your life i mean you can't make this up you see the 10 of wands with the 10 of cups this is not la la land this is a beautiful life that is full of responsibilities yes but responsibilities that are shared happily with another person someone's coming in <laughs> two of cups what a beautiful reading to make your life easier to make you realize that you're not alone why because you've poured into yourself i was giving libra a lecture about you being a sunday and the perfect person perfect romantic partner coming in as a cherry on top you're already a full sunday you're already edible right but that cherry just makes life sweeter this person whoever this is is coming in to make life sweeter three of cups and this association this relationship may come in through a friendship through a friend circle through family It could be a family friend this could be someone you already know even but it's like you're on the same page you see they're even wearing the same shoes it's someone who speaks the same love language as you it's someone who can be a part of your soul tribe someone who doesn't force you to heal constantly because they're a healing force within themselves the hermit virgo energy this is someone who has learned life's lessons not all of them because well healing and learning is is a lifelong process it's a lifelong journey the wheel of fortune wanted to reveal itself with the 10 of swords i feel like you have both been i don't know who this is maybe you already know this person maybe this is someone coming in i have no idea i'm not even going to pretend to know but <clears throat> the lessons that you have experienced and the wisdom that you have gained through those experiences this person has pretty much been on the same journey so you're not going to be dealing with an immature person you're going to be dealing with someone who has seen life 
they have truly seen life and they have truly been tested which is why they're at this king of cups high eq position and again no gender in tarot and we have the king of wands it's not just boring and 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 spiritual and all about healing and all of that there's a lot of passion here there's a lot of attraction there's intimacy and this person i feel like is going to have a laser focus on you i'm getting it's worth the wait if some of you are not part of a relationship right now and if you've been waiting for the perfect person to come in not waiting manifesting I feel like this person is is the perfect package. The 5 of cups don't hold on to the past though. Some of you may be telling yourselves that oh I want to build this perfect life for myself I want this perfect future but you may be conducting yourself from a previous template and that template may have been saturated with trauma may have been saturated with betrayal and sadness. right if you keep conducting yourself from that place again fear versus faith you're going to manifest it into your life no matter how wonderful this person is the 7 of cups why is the 7 of cups here the king of swords i'm getting that some of you are incredibly picky and i don't blame you for it i feel like you're being very careful about who you're inviting into your life but I almost feel like like I said earlier I don't see the universe showing up but I did see the wheel of fortune and now I notice something It's almost like the universe is not going to send you someone who it doesn't want you to weave into the fabric of your life Th There's something almost destined here that this after a period of confusion it's almost like you the minute you know who this is or even if you're thinking about someone right now this is a sign that you're destined to be with this person You know what I mean? After kissing a million frogs, I feel like you're finally going to find that royalty. I'm hanged, man. This is beautiful energy. This is Neptune and Pisces. And Pisces, oh, we have the chariot at the bottom with the page of swords and the two of pentacles. Pisces, well, Saturn is in Pisces and the ruler of Pisces, Neptune, Saturn and Neptune are both retrograding, right? This is when we get reality checks. This is when the rose-colored glasses come off and this seven of cups energy just dissipates. Right? This is the energy of groundedness. This is your root chakra getting activated. This is you finding an anchorage. This is you finding stability. This is you finding a solid ground to walk on. This is not la la land by any means. The hanged man, I'm not getting the literal meaning of the card in the spread. I am just understanding how the planet that rules this card is going to be affecting you in the next few months. There is something about you not floating anymore and you finally being able to land softly and you feeling safe in the process. There may have been a lot of upheaval, there may have been a lot of confusion, there may have been aimlessness. The chariot has to manage two horses that have to go in one single direction in order to reach victory right i feel like that drive you're going to be blessed with that drive from the universe you're going to be blessed with that clarity from the universe there's going to be almost an epiphany an aha moment that hang on a minute i've been looking for so long but this may be it for me I'm not saying this is going to happen for you not going you're going to find the love of your life in September but I feel like the wheels have started turning you know see the magic you see from where we went to where we are all of this is is solely dependent on how much you how much credit you give to the power that you have within you the only way you can do that is by pouring into yourself Right? Imagine you're a Ferrari. You're not going to put god awful fuel in it, right? You'll put premium fuel. What is that premium fuel? It's love, self love, self care, so that you can, with the chariot, move at optimal speed. Things are changing for you. I can feel it in my gut. This has been a beautiful reading. Just make sure you're not falling back. into old ways into old patterns into old ways of thinking not just about love but about yourself 
all right we have the number six if you've been seeing triple six a lot this is another sign from the universe that your manifestations are coming in six can also be a number of like i said earlier looking for different ways of healing six can be a spiritual shift right let's say you were only into tarot for example you suddenly realize that you want to start studying astrology this happened to me recently i've always loved astrology and tarot but recently I've, I've had this epiphany that if i'm studying the planets in theory i should be able to see them right so i'm planning to invest in a beautiful telescope where i can study the sky physically so there is a shift in how you've been conducting yourself and it's just going to enhance your growth then we have pisces i have been speaking about pisces a whole lot if you have pisces heavily in your chart go watch that reading if not embrace pisces energy we had a beautiful super blue full moon just the day before yesterday in the sign of pisces this can talk about culminations it can talk about things coming to light it's about epiphanies and aha moments and just all of that wonderful stuff it can make us a little sensitive for the next couple of days but again if anyone can handle that sensitivity Aquarius, if anyone can embrace it, it is you. All right. And then what is this? We have Pluto. Pluto is retrograding as well in the sign of Capricorn. When Pluto retrogrades, it is one wrecking ball after the other. Right. Pluto likes to bring chaos. Pluto likes to shake things up so that we don't get bored. If there have been shakeups, right, it's just making space for more magic. Think of it like that. Pluto is never going to do anything that is going to destroy us. It will only destroy situations that never belonged to us in the first place. All right, let's get some initials to close this off. We have T, Q, R, R again, M, W and the letter C. These could be your initials, they could be the initials of someone you're dealing with, doesn't have to be, but just a special mention for those of you who've seen your initials here today. All right, Aquarius, that was it. I hope this helped. I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.